Hi Cancer, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to your love reading for February 2023. I'll be taking a look at your love interest, how they're viewing you, their feelings and actions they plan on taking. Please keep in mind that this will not resonate with all of you, so you're more than welcome to check your other placements. All right, Cancer, let's go ahead and start with the untold messages of the heart. God, angels, Holy Spirit, what does this person want to tell Cancer? What are their energies surrounding Cancer at this time? All right. Under the deck, you have broken. The damage has already been done, and I don't know how to pick the pieces up. Walls, I feel like I can't get through to you. Please let me in. So Cancer, I feel that someone wants to come back into your energy here. They want to come back to your um, your life, basically, all right? Something definitely could have happened. This person could have broken your trust. Um, there could have been a breakup, arguments, a disconnect here. And I feel like this person doesn't know how to fix the situation. Maybe you've been rejecting them or playing hard to get here. But I feel like this person's trying to come back in and they feel like you're not really fully letting them in here, okay? Yeah, this person misses you. For some of you, very small message, you could have been engaged to this person or talked about marriage, all right? Let's go ahead and dig further. God, angels, Holy Spirit, how is this person viewing cancer at this time? How is this person viewing cancer? What are their feelings for cancer? And the action. What action does this person... Oh, okay. Let's take one more card for the action. This person plans on taking towards Cancer. All right. Yeah, your person's going through an awakening here. Okay, or maybe you are Cancer, but I feel like this person's really in their head when it comes to you they're missing you they're thinking a lot about you reflecting on what happened between you two how they are currently viewing you you have fall all right something very significant could have happened in the fall or you might be dealing with someone whose birthday's in the fall all right let's go ahead and dig further how is this person viewing cancer God, angels, Holy Spirit, how is this person viewing cancer? Wow. How is this person viewing cancer? Wow. Oh my gosh. Cancer. What did you do to this person? Yeah. You have the Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, the Death card, and the Eight of Cups. They're definitely viewing you as someone who has ended the connection relationship, who has possibly walked away from them, disconnected. But what's interesting is that they're viewing you as someone that they are madly in love with. I mean, the Ace of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. You know, what's interesting, Cancer, because they're very much in love with you. They see that they can grow with you, have stability with you, have something long term with you. But at the same time, I feel like this person's having an awakening that you did love them a lot at one point and you gave them a lot. You could have spoiled this person not only emotionally but financially and now they're starting to realize that. Yeah. If you never dated this person, they're viewing you as someone who could possibly give them so much emotionally and financially. They see, us, they see you as someone they could have something long term. But again, I feel like something came to an end here or they feel you pulling away. Now this person's feelings for you, observer, yeah. They're definitely keeping an eye on you, Cancer. Let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Tell me more about this person's feelings for Cancer. I need just Holy Spirit. What is this person's feelings for Cancer? Yeah. So the High Priestess in reverse, the Seven of Swords, and the Emperor, Aries Energy, Pisces for some of you. 
yeah this person is stalking you they're watching you they're observing you paying attention to all the details here but i do feel a little bit of sneaky energy cancer i don't know if this is how they're viewing you how they're feeling about you or if this person's keeping something from you here this person's trying to control themselves not explode not reveal too much i guess let's see tell me more about the seven of swords for this person's feelings for cancer why is the seven of swords here for the, their feelings for cancer february 2023 and just holy spirit give me clear messages the full card some of you could be dealing with a gemini virgo the moon card or the full card the moon card pisces energy wow a lot of secrets here this person's keeping a secret from you the justice card libra energy There's something they have not told you. For very few of you, it could be that they're married or they're, or they're dealing with a legal situation. Tell me more. What is this that they're hiding from cancer? I'm just Holy Spirit. What is this person hiding from cancer? Five of Cups. For others of you, is that they regret losing you. Wow. Yeah, they regret losing you. They regret hurting you, disappointing you. They regret maybe choosing someone else or making the wrong choice here the grass was not greener on the other side maybe you're aware of this maybe you're not cancer but this person's facing a lot of regret possibly for lying about something possibly maybe even cheating being sneaky about something why is the five of cups here for cancer. the tower card yeah this person could have done something that really made things awful or caused a disruption in this connection cancer why is the tower card here the sun card this person you could have found out they're married you could have found out they're still dealing with maybe an ex-husband ex-wife ex-boyfriend ex-girlfriend um they could have lied about their finances their stability they could have lied that something was over and really it wasn't okay and now they're regretting that there's secrets you found out about this person, or this is a secret that they're keeping from you. They're obsessing over you. Could be a Capricorn for some of you. Let's see. What actions will this person take towards cancer? What actions? Pause and divine timing. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Why is pause and divine timing here? For the action they plan on taking towards cancer, please. Why is this here? One more shuffle. Yeah, I'm feeling like really regretful. I feel regret. I feel disappointment why did i do that that's the messages i'm getting right now actions this person plans on taking towards cancer the tower in reverse action this person plans on taking six of wands in reverse action this person plans on taking please towards cancer five of cups again yeah this person is scared they're scared here cancer because they don't want to cause another they don't want to basically f up again when it comes to you they're scared of like of like approaching you reaching out to you or revealing something to you because they're scared of another tower moment they're scared that they might ruin all their chances with you if they're if if they're not already feeling that they're they're scared they don't want to have another regret disappointment so i feel like this is why they're really thinking about what next move they're going to take towards you Please give me clear messages for the actions this person plans on taking towards cancer. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Action this person plans on taking. Seven of Cups in reverse. Two of Wands. I will say that for some of you, this person may physically come see you. Okay, whether that involves traveling or not. I see them coming physically towards you because they're scared that things will get misinterpreted through text or phone call or something like that. And if they do happen to reach out to you through messages or whatever, they're going to be like, you know what? Like, I don't want to discuss this through text messages. Like, let's see each other face to face. 
tell me more after this person plans on taking towards cancer. Yeah, Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. I feel like this person, they're going to be very cautious to how they approach you, Cancer. I do see them coming towards you here, okay, either calling you, texting you, but I feel like when it comes to having a serious conversation, they're going to want to do this face-to-face, -face. and I see them coming towards you here, for some of you traveling towards you, all right? I feel like this person's scared of, like, ruining things with you more than they already are, okay? What else does this person want to tell Cancer? That I'm just really scared to make their messages. What else does this person want to tell Cancer? All right, two of them flew out here. Within a few months, you make me lose my cool, and I just don't know how to act in your presence. All right, let's see one more. I can use Holy Spirit. One more, please. What does this person want to tell Cancer? All right. Factors. We're so different. I'm trying to figure out how this is going to work. Mask. I honestly pretend to be someone I'm, I'm not because being, being vulnerable makes me feel uncomfortable. I know I've acted childishly and I don't know how to approach you now, you see? And I don't know. So, yeah, I feel like this person's going to be very, very careful when they approach you, all right? Because they're scared of, like, ruining all their chances with you. And again, Cancer, that could be the case. Maybe this person already did ruin all their chances with you. But according to them, they still have a little bit of hope or faith. So they want to, like, be very wise on how it is that they approach you next year or have this important conversation with you. Um... And again, cross watchers, this could be vice versa. All right, if it did not resonate, feel free to check your other placements. But thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to love and support my channel. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.